It's really simple to mine multiple cryptocurrencies using your Mac. But which is the most profitable coin to mine with your Mac? That's what I'm going to be looking at in today's episode. Hey, I'm Ryan from cloudmoney.co, making crypto easy. And we're going to be looking at my Mac particularly, which coin is going to be the most profitable for me. And I'll show you guys how to do this as well, so you can assess it for your own computer. Now, I'm using a free program called Minergate, which you can get for free. It's really easy to use, really easy to start mining cryptocurrencies. I'll leave the links to that in the description down below. But Minergate have a lot of different coins that you can mine. Everything from random coins like the Quasar coin, QCN, uh, to your most staple coins like Ether, Monero, Zcash, Bitcoin Gold. Uh, you can't mine Bitcoin, but there's quite a lot of coins on there. So I wanna work out which one's going to be the most profitable. If I go to the Smart Miner, which is meant to choose the best coin for your computer, the most prof profitable one, then it goes ahead and it chooses Monero. But I wanna double check this and make sure that it is picking the right one for me. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I've got a spreadsheet here with all of the possible coins you can mine using Minergate. And I've also done an assessment of how fast my computer can mine each of these coins. And so I've gone through in Minergate and basically gone to the miner section, click start mining, made sure all my cores were on. If you had GPU, you would turn that on as well. And then I looked at the max hash rate that I got. Now my computer's recording video at the moment, doing some other stuff. So this is lower than what it would be. So the max for Aeon was about 400, or it kind of leveled out at around 400 hashes. So I went ahead and I wrote that down here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into the mining calculator that Minergate have. So I'm not taking into account electricity because at this point you're using your Mac, the same electricity for each particular coin or very close to. And so I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about how much can I mine each day or each week. And so let's go through this calculator and we'll start filling up these columns with how much Bitcoin per week I would mine with each coin. So let's start with the Aeon coin. So if I go ahead and put in 400 hashes, then we can see after one week, I would get 0.00014 Bitcoin. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that into the spreadsheet. And now I'll go through and do all of them. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled that out. I've also made it a bit easier to see. Now, if we remember, if we smart mine, it's always gonna choose Monero for us, but we wanted to see if that was the most profitable. So let's go ahead and organize this by Bitcoin per week from high to low. And we can see that the coin that wins out is actually the Aeon coin, not Monero itself. And so we can see after one week with my computer, I would end up with 0.00014 Bitcoin per week or $1.54 per week. So not a lot of money at all mining on my Mac here. Monero came in second at $1.21, followed by BCN, which came in at $1.10. And this shows you why it's so important to choose the right coin to mine. So if I was to mine Ethereum Classic, or if I was to mine this Dashcoin here, or if I was to mine the XDN, I would only make 22 cents per week. Whereas I can make nearly $1.60 which is about eight times the money, probably seven times the money by mining Aeon. So I know we're not talking big dollar amounts here, but the newer your Mac, the more you're going to be able to mine. And because what I'm recording on now is quite a old computer, that's why I've got such low amounts. So I went ahead and did the same analysis on my MacBook Pro, which is a newer and more powerful computer than my big iMac. And we can see that Aeon is up to 555, from 400, XMR was 100 on my iMac and is now 210. So this MacBook has eight cores, so it can process and do these calculations faster than my iMac. If you have a GPU, then it's gonna step it up again, but unfortunately, neither of my computers have that. So I went ahead and analyzed that. Let's sort from top to bottom, Bitcoin per week. We can see that 
for my MacBook Pro, XMR or Monero is the most profitable coin to mine. Aeon comes in at second at $2.20 to Monero's $2.53 per week. So this is putting out $2.53 compared to $1.54. So nearly double what my iMac is putting out. And so you can see here, if I was to mine Zcash, I'd get 55 cents. So Zcash versus Monero, I get five times more money mining Monero than I will mining Zcash. So for my MacBook, the most profitable coin was Monero and that smart mining feature was accurate. For my iMac, the most profitable coin was the Aeon coin and the smart mining feature wasn't correct. And obviously this will change over time. So as the currencies fluctuate, so Aeon could become worth less and Monero could become worth more or one of these coins like Zcash could shoot up in value or the mining difficulties could change as well. So the difficulties, the amount of money that you're making are constantly changing. So if you really wanna know what's most profitable for you, then you can go ahead and do this analysis on a regular basis. It wasn't that hard to do, it took me maybe five or 10 minutes per computer to do this analysis. And so you could go ahead and do that, work out what's the most profitable coin to mine with your Mac, and then go ahead and do that. Alternatively, in Minergate, you can go ahead and you can start mining with a smart miner. And even though it wasn't 100% accurate on my iMac, it was accurate on my MacBook. And where it wasn't accurate, it was just off by a little bit, $1.21 per week compared to $1.54. So the smart miner isn't perfect, but if you don't want to go ahead and do this analysis yourself, then I definitely recommend using the Smart Miner. If you want to start mining with your Mac, then I will leave the links to Minergate in the description down below. That is my affiliate link. So if you go through that, I do make a little bit, but it still doesn't cost you anything. So thanks to everyone who does that. And if you want to learn more about how to mine with your Mac, then check out this video where I talked about exactly that how to mine with your Mac. And so step by step, you can learn how to do it over there. It's really easy. Or check out this video I did on cloud mining, where you can actually get other people to mine for you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you in the cloud.